Virgie, few sessions back now since returning last week. How's it all been? Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, the players have had uh, three sessions now. Today, uh, probably being their, their toughest one so far uh, with some match play. Um, so back into it. It's um, yeah, it's been good for us to see the players back after their three week Christmas break where they've had programs to follow. Uh, seen them turn up, present in really good condition and um, progress the football really quickly. Uh, so it shows us that they've done the work over the break and been able to maintain their football standards really high. And who's caught your eye um, early on in pre-season? Oh, a number of players, I'm still getting to know them, but um, I've been really impressed with um, a large number of them actually. Um, you know, more recently, you know, Max Ramsden last week uh, in, in our running trial uh, as, a, as a big bloke running was, was really impressive. Max Lynch as well, um, out of the taller guys. Uh, and then younger guys, Connor McDonald, um, Sam Butler, uh, and some of the newer draftees, Josh Weddle, um, you know, Cam McKenzie, even, even Jack O'Sullivan, who's really impressed with his work ethic. Uh, he's, he's a hard worker, I've got to hold him back a little bit, but we love that about young players. Um, so I really enjoyed the young guys coming in, in particular, the new guys. Yeah. And what about some of the players that were maybe ruled out towards the end of last year to injury? Um, maybe Warps and, and Frosty, how are they tracking? Yeah, both going great. Uh, uh, Frosty's back in full training. He was managing a knee issue uh, for most of the second half of last year. He had a really controlled and measured progression over the off-season and back into that November, December period. We, we did a couple of full sessions before Christmas, but he's resumed full training today. And uh, you know, getting some good work under his belt, his um, senior experience is really important for us, so good to have him on the track. Warps uh, was doing a lot of training pre-Christmas, just out of the non, the big contact drills. He's now full contact training. He's he's really hungry and ready to go. And today we saw him around the footy doing what he does best. And um, really, really good to see him back training. What about Ned Reeves, who was also battling a shoulder injury towards the end of last year? Yeah, Ned, similar to Warps, uh, was on a, a managed program uh, with shoulder surgery. Was doing a, a fair bit of training pre-Christmas, just not the full contact drills. He's starting now into full contact training over the next seven days. Next week he'll be full contact. He's done a couple of the contract, contact drills today, uh, you know, match play. Didn't do all of the match play, but next week he will. Uh, but we've been working really hard on some other areas of Ned's program, his conditioning, which he has uh, improved dramatically um, since I've been here. I think he's gained a lot of confidence out of being able to get more working. Mm. And he's, he's a bigger body as well. He's still growing and still getting stronger. So he's managing that side of his preparation as well. He's still a very young ruckman. So, um, you know, a lot of growth and upside for him. And any other guys who maybe missed towards the end of last year that you can kind of shed a bit of a light on how their um, programs are tracking, like maybe Mitch Lewis or CJ or Chad? Yeah, uh, Mitch, Mitch Lewis has had a great Christmas period. He's gone away and, and capitalised on top of the work he did pre-Christmas. It's looking really strong at the moment, ran really well the other day in, in the running. And today in our footy session, he really stood out. Um, CJ pre-Christmas was outstanding. Some of the, the running and intensity of running he can produce, he, he, playing off half back as well, he has that, that acceleration. So I've uh, been really impressed with what he's been able to, to produce. And uh, Chad is uh, not missed a session yet since I've been here. So it's been really good to see him uh, training, full training, doing his match play. He's in really good condition. He's, he's worked really hard over the Christmas break. Um, had a good preparation for Christmas as well. Um, so the challenge for us now is to make sure we keep that going and um, give him the best opportunity to to have a fantastic year. What about, has there anything that's come up during pre-season with any other players? I understand Wardy might be battling a bit of a groin issue. Yeah, yeah, we've got, we've got two players managed at the moment. Josh Ward's had a, a hip groin issue uh, just, just before the Christmas break. Uh, this started to trouble him a little bit. So over Christmas he was on a, a modified program just to help uh, get us back on track. And we're just pushing his loads at the moment up um, pushing him pretty hard away from the group. We anticipate he'll be back training with the group over the next fortnight. Yeah, Connor had done everything and the last session uh, before the Christmas break, which was which was our toughest session, he, his knee, he just pulled up a little bit sore in his knee and over the Christmas break he had to back him off. So we're in, similar to Wardy, we're just progressing that at the moment. Um, 
and over the next two to three weeks, moving him back into skills. Um, it's, it's an important time of year for us, you know, in January, our football loads are increasing, um, more match play, and we've just got to make really smart decisions with players. So, you know, by the end of February, we're in a good position.